Hi, good day. My name is Peter Millett. I'm here at the Stebman Clinic, and today we're going to show uh, pearls using um, the Knotless FiberTac, uh, which is a great anchor for the labrum. It's low profile. Uh, it takes minimal bone resection, and it gives a very nice, secure repair. So I'm here with uh, Dr. Robbie Patel, one of our fellows, and uh, Dylan Rakowski, one of our, our research assistants, who's helping us today. So this is the left shoulder. We've made a bank cart tear. Uh, here you can see the bank cart. And we have two portals. This is a five millimeter cannula superiorly just uh, below the biceps tendon. And then we've put an 8.25 millimeter cannula in just above the subscapularis, which is gonna allow us to uh, place our anchors and to use our passing instruments. So our first anchor is gonna go down low. This bank cart goes down to about the uh, seven o'clock position or so. Uh, I'm going to come in with this curved guide. This is a 15 degree curve, uh, which really allows us to get down low. You can see the mark there, which uh, demonstrates where the concave side of the, the, the guide is. It has nice sharp points on it, uh, which allows it to, you to really get a good bite on the, on the glenoid face and then we can really put the, the anchor right where we desire it to be placed. So now we uh, are gonna drill for our anchor. This is a flexible drill, which allows us to get really low on the glenoid face and have a good trajectory. And then we have our 1.8 millimeter uh, knotless fiber tack anchor. Uh, if you hold it a little bit towards the front, you can uh, insert, put it in the inserter a little bit easier. And then we try and actually start this by hand into that hole. And then we'll tap it into place. And then there's a little grommet here that you can remove that re releases the sutures. And then we just pull everything out. So. We'll use a shuttling device here, a lasso, that I can pull up on the tissue a little bit, come around the labrum, and then feed the wire through out the superior cannula. So then we'll shuttle this through here. Robbie will catch it. Good. So at this point, we're now ready to shuttle this suture back through using the shuttling suture. So I just slide the shuttling suture like this and make sure that it slides very easily. And then there's a loop on one end and then there's a, a, a tape end. So the loop end is the one we're going to want to use. And then uh, we'll fold that over, fold it and hold it. Good. And then we'll get it going and pop it through. And then we can tighten this up. We can watch and make sure we don't have any twists in it on the inside, which it looks like everything's looking pretty good. I can come in with my grasper here. I can then also get a little bit additional shift by pulling up on the tissue here. This is a real nice pearl that just pull up on the tissue uh, prior to securing it down there so you can get an additional few millimeters or even a centimeter of shift from inferior to superior. And we'll cut it right at the right at the cartilage there. And that's our first anchor. Good. So let's put another one in. So we'll go work our way from inferior to superior. Uh, you can, with this anchor, you can also leave, the, leave them long and then tension at the end if you like. Uh, I like to cut them just so that there's less risk of tangling, but you can do it either way. So here we're going to come in with our curved guide up on the face of the glenoid. This drill is not fluted, so if you go in and out a few times, it helps to clear the bone out of the tunnel, that you, out of the socket that you're creating. 
drill hole. And then again, grab the uh, grab this anchor in the middle to the front so that you have control over it, and then you can insert it, slide it down, and then you should you should try and push it in first to get it started. That means it's aligned well with the with the, the bone socket you made, and then tap it into place until this inserter is flush with the guide. Pull the suture retriever grommet off, the little grenade handle, and then just pull the whole inserter off. And then what you do is you pull back on it just to set it, make sure that that anchor uh, deploys underneath the surface of the glenoid. And then we'll retrieve the repair suture. There's three sutures here that you'll see. One is the repair suture, which is the blue one, and the other two are the shuttling sutures. They're one suture that passes through the center of the anchor. Retrieve that out through our superior portal. We'll come in with our lasso. This is a 25 degree tight uh, left. Use the same side as a, as a shoulder. This is a left shoulder, obviously. I'm going to come in perpendicular to the tissue and a little bit below the anchor, pop through, and then hit the glenoid and kind of work my way underneath that labrum until I come out just below the anchor. And then I'll retrieve the wire. And then we'll pass the repair suture using the shuttling wire. And then what I like to do, instead of just pulling this uh, lasso out, is to untwist it like a corkscrew so that it comes through smoothly. And then my assistant Robbie here is going to grab the repair suture and just pull it. And then what he's going to do, Robbie's going to take his finger and just strip this suture to get all the longitudinal twists out of the suture. And that makes it uh, tighten up more smoothly uh, when it passes through the locking mechanism. Prevents a lot of twists. Uh, with the, with the uh, shuttling suture, I just give that a, a few pulls to make sure that it slides really nicely, as you see here. And then I hold up the looped end so that we can shuttle that repair suture back through the locking mechanism in the, in the uh, anchor. Good. And he's going to fold it and hold it. And then we're going to pull this through. And at this point, we will uh, tension it. As we come to that final position there, I can actually stick this uh, micro grasper uh, inside that loop that we're creating there and I can grab the tissue down below and then we can tension it and you get a little bit more of a shift up onto the face Close cutter. Good. okay great great so now we've completed our repair we put it in two additional anchors uh, I typically use four sometimes five anchors uh, the first anchor you can see here is low down. Here it's at about the 7 o'clock position. This is 6 o'clock right here, so 7, uh, 8 o'clock, uh, maybe 9.30, and then one up here at about 10.30, 11 o'clock. We could conceivably put another one up here for, a la for the uh, superior labrum if it went into a slap. But you can see how we've shifted the capsule up. We have uh, very good tension. Uh, it, these anchors are nice in that they roll the, the labrum, uh, creating a nice bumper, and they're low profile and really create uh, very little risk of irritation of the joint, and they're small 1.8 millimeter anchors, so they don't take away much bone. So I hope these pearls help you in the care of your patients and uh, help you in the use of uh, these techniques for shoulder instability. Thank you very much.